Why, hello my lovelies, and welcome to day 12 of Crochet-tober. Thank you for joining me on this spectacular day. You may wonder, what is this? <laughs> okay, so this is the Rio yarn. I got my Happy Mail the other day and I saw it and just thought cotton candy. I think I mentioned that in the video. That's all I could see was cotton candy. So then I thought it'd be fun to wear it atop my crown somehow. Then I got to thinking it reminds me of the Sugar Plum Fairy from the Nutcracker. I realize it's not Christmas. Quite aware of this. If you know anything at all about the Nutcracker, you know that the Sugar Plum Fairy is not a real nice lady. So, today, I should be the Sugar Plum Fairy, but the Halloween version, hence the black shirt and the little black rose. Because she's not real cool, you know? She, like, seems to be, but she's not. So I thought maybe, like, evil sugar, sugar plum fairy, and she looks like she hasn't got rest in a while. It's not real, you know. But that's what I was going for today. So <clears throat> I shall act very fancy and upbeat, but know that evil things lurk <laughs> inside of my brain, <laughs> making toy soldiers bigger and things like that come to life. <clears throat> okay, so if you guys are new to the crochet tober game um what happened was that my dear sweet miss neva from manic mama musings and myself thought this would be fun because halloween's fun october's fun didn't know if y'all knew this all right cool um so we swapped goodies and scrap yarn and then invited whomever would like to join in to join in and we have ladies on youtube joining in and it's so much fun and they will all be linked below we have ladies not on youtube who have joined in so much fun their pictures are usually at the end of one of our videos check those out there's a crochet tober playlist linked below so you guys can check that out also i made a crochet tober music playlist so you guys can go on there and listen to time warp all the way to Rob Zombie all the way back to somebody's watching me so all right cool so <clears throat> I have evil things to do today so let's get on with it shall we I have children to manipulate and mice to get at so let's do it <coughs> excuse me I tickle in the throat okay that's what I get for being evil to children and mice, perhaps, but toy soldiers will help me rule the kingdom, you know? So, all right, anyway, <laughs> I'll stop speaking nutcracker speak. All right, so from out of our super cool project bag, and for day 12, right? Yes, day 12. Had to double check that like four times now. This was our color for yesterday. <laughs> the purple. And it went almost all the way around from right here to right here. I'm going all the way around. So this is our blanket. And um, everyone's blanket <laughs> looks different and it's so neat. Um, some people have completely different squares. Some of us have the same squares. Some are wonky, some are not. Some people are doing skulls and cool things in the middle of theirs. Some people are just making a square and going from that. So options are endless. It's the 12th. We're over a third of the way into this, but it's still not too late. It's just 12 rows, y'all. You can do it. You want to start now? Join in? All the spectacular fun? Okay. I feel like I look evil. I don't know. Like, I feel like she needs a nap. It's very concerning. I also leaned over at one point and this tumbled off of my head. It's been, it's been a good time being the the bone berry. So, okay. Day 12. This one's heavy. It's a big old ball of yarn. I can feel that. <laughs> Let's see. <sighs> Before we get to the yarn, because this is on top. You are so good to me. It's so funny how many things we've purchased for one another. These are cool. I got socks and they match my pinkness, my sugar plum fairiness. But the evil part. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, those are amazing. Sock of the day. Yeah. 
I'm gonna put these on as soon as I finish this. Those are amazing. Yep, I sent her socks. Yesterday we sent each other purple yarn. The day before that I sent her a pencil and then yesterday, no, the day before that she sent me a pencil. Yesterday I sent her a notebook. We've exchanged bandanas. I mean, it's the very first day was project bag. And then like, so the second day was something that we made for one another. She made me this, I made her a stitch marker. Got socks, it's, it's nuts. Like all of our things are, it's very cool. I'm all about it. So yeah, indeed my partner in crochet. I love them. They're black and pink and I love them. Oh my goodness. Okay, so once again, let's see if our color goes with this because we've been matching. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pretty. It does. It does. <laughs> see? Okay. Let's see here. Let's set this down. The table is full. You will see why in just a second, but it is full. Oh, cool. All right. That's fun. Yep. That will remind me of the super cool socks because, see, they all match. I love it. Right, that's a big one too. Score. So I'll add that in and tomorrow I will bring it back and show you guys for spooky day 13, I suppose. Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> so my project for today was going to be something completely different and I mentioned made, making this before because I want to make it into a gnome home. Um, but before I make it into a gnome home, I want to bring it and show it to you guys because it's fun and um, it took no time at all like not even not even an hour not even close to an hour to make which I made it in bulky yarn but also super fun super easy project um, I'm definitely making about 4,000 more of these this is the pumpkin it's just how to I think it's how to crochet a pumpkin by sweet miss Jennifer cinnamon stitches and so she tells you like one of my very favorite things so I feel like y'all know how much I adore her one of my very 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 favorite things in her tutorials is just like okay I'm gonna do it this way but y'all can do it however you want if you don't do that that's fine don't frog it just keep going make it your own thing that's like my favorite because I often look at a pattern and then I'm just like man I'm gonna do that but I'm gonna do something completely different like also you know <laughs> And she lets you do that with her stuff. She lets you be as creative as possible. So right here, I added a stitch somewhere along the way. I don't know, but it doesn't matter because only maybe two times in my life have I ever seen the perfect pumpkin. So it's wonky, but it's a pumpkin and I love it so very much. And so I said, I'm going to turn this into a gnome home. Spoiler alert, it's ahead, <laughs> but anyway, or behind, you know, but anyway, this was so much fun to make and I have enough yarn I think I want to make a really really big one like this just to have as a decoration so I think that's gonna happen so <clears throat> I will link this pattern below because you'll need one in your life and if you don't know who Jennifer at Cinnamon Stitches is speaking of I don't know what you're doing with your time but you should definitely check her out because she's phenomenal like since she has fun tutorials I, the whole time, like, I love watching her videos because I just feel like I'm hanging out chatting with a friend but during her tutorials. I, like, giggle the whole time because she's absolutely hilarious. She just says random little jokes and every now and then it's like, said I feel like I'm having a conversation with a friend and so it's like just, ha ah, totally. <laughs> like, the whole time she's talking because she's, she's a hoot. She is so much fun. So, this is my pumpkin. And no, it's not even. But I didn't frog it because I wasn't supposed to. It's supposed to be its own thing. So, okay. This is horrifying. <laughs> Every time I look at myself. All right. So, the yarn I used um, was sent to me by a sweet, sweet friend just the other day. And I said I wanted to make something fall out of it. And I got so many comments on that video like, hey, you should make a pumpkin. And so I was just like, hey, you're right. And so, okay. So, this is a buttercream luxe alpaca it's 80 percent acrylic 20 percent alpaca the color pumpkin 
hello. You know, it's like, what do you want to be? And it was like, read the label. So I was like, all right. Anyway, so yeah, the color pumpkin. I have fuzz stuck to me. I don't know if it's from this or from the alpaca. Um, they're 130 yards, uh, six ounces, 170 grams. I used, I'd say a little bit more than half of it. But I have another one of these, and they said I want to make a really big pumpkin to set in the living room, so that's my plan with that. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure where this is from. The other one's, um, the K and C, the premier yarn, or the premium yarn, um, the KC Knit and Crochet, which is, I believe, Joanne, it's either Joanne or Michael, I'm pretty sure it's Joanne because Loops and Threads is Michael's, but anyway. So I guess they're from the same place. I'm not sure, to be honest, but... Oh, wait. Just kidding. Take that back. <clears throat> it says right here on the back. Distributed by Joanne Stores. So, okay. Okay, Derry. Joanne's. <laughs> yeah, Buttercream Lux Alpaca. And the color pumpkin. Oh, <laughs> still stuck to my lips. And then for the stem. So I used the K and C. Knit and crochet. Oh, that was upside down. Um, this is also alpaca, 80% acrylic, 20% alpaca, is that what that one is? I just said it. Yep, same fibers. Um, 130 yards, 6 ounces, 118 meters, product of turkey, it's 6 bulky, this is a color evergreen. So, and I used just a tiny bit because it was just for the stem, so I'll have enough, you know, if I make the big huge pumpkin, enough still to make... I don't know, something fun with the green. But yeah, those are my colors and I absolutely love the pumpkin. So I'm gonna let it just be a pumpkin for like, well, just a couple of days because I plan on bringing this back finished in not very long. Cause yeah, so tease my pumpkin. So now we'll link that pattern below. It's very, very easy. I can see why she would be addicted to making those. Um, it's very, once you get it down, it's insanely mindless because at first I was like, oh, okay, wait. <clears throat> but no, it's a it's a Jennifer from Cinnamon Stitches pattern, so it's just like, you got this. Don't worry about it. If you don't, don't worry about it. And I was like, that's why I love watching her tutorials because if you mess up, don't frog it. Just keep going. It'll all work out. It's a pumpkin. How weird would it be if it was right? So thank you, Jennifer. I appreciate it. <laughs> so, okay. <clears throat> Our movie for today is not the Nutcracker because that's a Christmas movie. It's just that this lady's a little bit evil and so I thought it worked out. Plus I just really wanted to wear this on my head so it's up to y'all. You can see me as either the <laughs> Sugar Plum Fairy or Cotton Candy. Whatever. All right, cool. <laughs> um, our movie for today is Hubie Halloween which is on Hulu. It's Adam Sandler. It's pure goofiness pure goofiness. We watched it one time before and my husband and I were like, all right, so we're going to try to watch it again. The kids all liked it. So I love Adam Sandler. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's kind of cheese, but that's all right. It's Halloween. So we're going to watch it. And then the song for the day, like I said, there's, a, these will be linked below, like the movie where you guys can watch it. If you have it, if you have Hulu, it's like a Hulu original or whatever. It's strictly on Hulu. Hubie Halloween is. And also will be a playlist of all the songs and below the movie is the song and a link for that. But the song for the day is Jump in the Line from, you know, well just the song, but then from Beetlejuice because when Lydia aka Winona Ryder dances to it, that's almost as good as Catherine O'Hara in The Shrimp Cocktail. So. Yes, so Jump in the Lion is our song for the day. Hubie Halloween is our movie for the day. Tis our project for the day. Tis our color for the day. I'm gonna knock our pumpkin off. More importantly, The Secret to Life. Got new socks today. <laughs> Stoked about these. So yes going to put those on in just a moment. Take all this off. <laughs> Maybe I'll just wear it around. Why not? Perhaps we'll just go cruise the streets <laughs> like this. Fun times. All right. So yeah, I think that's all. 
Day 12 of Crochetober. Um, once again, if you guys would like to send us your photos, if you don't have a channel, please do so. Um, I know yesterday I added Kenyatta's photo at the end, and her channel, once again, is Kenyatta Creates, and she does, I think it's on, I believe she said Saturdays, she's gonna, like, talk about the blanket. Kenyatta, if you would like to join in on the Crochetober, go ahead, I mean, you know, feel free to add that to your whatever, even if you just do it on Saturdays, we don't care. We're very relaxed, we're a very relaxed group, but just, there really are no rules, just thanks for joining, you know? So, okay. But still, if you guys have a channel, if you don't, it's not too late to join. Once again, you could start November 1st. We won't be doing this, obviously, but Crochet Topper 2022 is officially a thing. Just saying. So, there's already people involved and stuff. I'm so excited. So, okay. Those are our things for the day. I thank you so very much. I shall go discuss this all with my toy soldier minions and try to get rid of the mice. We'll see how it goes. Try to regain the kingdom, you know. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> so, all right. Um, <clears throat> I keep being giddy. I'm not supposed to be. I keep I'm supposed to be scary. It's hard to be scary. So, I hope you all have a very spooktacular day. You're having a wonderful spooky season of October long. More importantly, do me a big favor if you would, stay out of the woods. <laughs>